ओके हियर एवरीवन नोस मास्टर डिटेल रिलेशनशिप करेक्ट या हाउ मेनी मास्टर डिटेल रिलेशनशिप्स वी कैन क्रिएट फॉर वन ऑब्जेक्ट टू टू ऑब्जेक्ट या टू टू मास्टर डिटेल्स वी कैन क्रिएट एंड वन इज प्राइमरी एंड वन इज सेकेंडरी नाउ विल सी हाउ टू फाइंड आउट प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी मास्टर डिटेल ऑब्जेक्ट मास्टर डिटेल फील्ड ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट आई थिंक यू गाइस आई डोंट नो वेदर यू गाइस नो दिस थिंग आर नॉट यूजिंग वर्क मैच राइट या यूजिंग वर्क मैच करेक्शन बुक रिलेशनशिप मॉडल जीरो एंड वन आई विल जस्ट शो यू हियर इट्स या 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 okay uh this can be done uh using two ways uh first way is uh, by checking the created date on the two master detail fields and another uh, way is using workbench uh, but uh, the first method is not a good way it is not a good practice because uh, when we move the data right from sandbox arc to other sandbox arc or production arc the date and time will be determined as same on all the components by system uh, if you see for every object uh, the date and time will shown as same if you when you change the data from arg to another arc when you move the data from another arc so at that time it is difficult to find out uh, which one is must uh, which one is primary master iterator and which one is secondary so uh, i believe you guys know uh, how to check a created uh, time on objects so the best way is workbench using workbench okay i will just uh, i will show that created date as well just for okay i will go to student object and i will go to field and relationships so here uh, we have two master details you can see here one is branch and another is course i will just open um, both the master detail fields branch and course here uh, you can see it is branch uh, which was created on 2 uh, 23rd february uh, at 755 am and it was created it was also created on the course was also created on the same date but uh, you can see the time is 520 am uh, so the course is the object which has been created first and it will be it will it is a primary master detail you can see uh, you can see this uh, you can tell this which is primary by seeing the date but uh, as we already discussed this is not a good practice okay and the next step is using workbench so i believe you guys uh, have uh, idea with uh, user interface of workbench yeah okay i'll just open workbench i have mentioned here steps also like uh, the path you just uh, need to go workbench and then you have to log in with salesforce and we have to jump to standard and custom objects and the uh, object uh, we want to check these things are on student object right student okay student is here i'm just selecting it now uh, expand the fields folder by clicking on the folder icon expand both of the master detail fields folder okay 
which one branch and course these two are the master details uh, i'm just opening both the fields uh, now if the field where relationship order equals zero is the primary and the field where relationship order equals one is the secondary so here where is it yeah you can see here relationship order equals to one nothing means it is secondary and relationship order equals to zero for course it is zero nothing but course is a primary master object field uh, the same thing uh, we have seen in created date as well correct course uh, which was created earlier than branch yeah but this is a good way uh, by using workbench uh, we have to find out which one is primary and which one is secondary yeah uh, this is uh, uh, this is the way to find out which one is uh, primary master detail and which one is secondary master detail on the object okay this topic has been done